Hey everybody, it's Ray here, and today guys, I'm bringing another video commentary to my channel. Um, today, I want to showcase a zombie map that I uh, started working on a while back. You guys may have seen the beta video, or uh, maybe the trailer, but um, regardless, I want to show you guys like one-to-one -one gameplay of uh, this, this map here. So, uh, I just want to like rush through this because I do have a 10 minute limit on my video recorder, unfortunately. Um, all other video recorders I know of are not working properly for my computer for some reason. And uh, I'm not sure I they really have to fix those. I'm trying to use Cam Studio 2, which records decently, but I don't know where the file gets saved to, so... Uh, yeah, I'm getting owned by that. So anyway, it's pretty much a minute in, so... Let's get right into this. Uh, I might actually have to cut out a, piece, a couple pieces. And, you know, put more pieces together and stuff, so let's go right into this. The game will begin when you step on these pressure plates. Use the wait, no, right. Gear up first, then play. Man, my, my, my reading skills are just failure. Okay, well, diamond helmet, chest plate, iron leggings, sword, blah 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 blah. Other other stuff you probably really don't care about. So let's put this on here, 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 here. Diamond swords out. TNT is actually grenades. You put grenades in these water holes here, and they light up. And uh, when zombies come near them, they will kill the zombies, or at least damage. Let's get into this. Okay. Uh, within 40 seconds, zombies will spawn. So I might as well just, you know, just cut out these 40 seconds. Really, nothing, nothing's really going on other than me just, you know, just you know, jumping around like a maniac and stuff. Soon enough, that thing will turn from green to red. When it does turn from green to red, basically what happens is that... Um, it basically means that the round will start very soon, or is already has, heard, has already begun. And um, green basically means that you're free, and no zombies will spawn during that time. And that basically means you don't need to worry. Green is spawned. Uh, however, even though no zombies are spawning in later rounds, and uh, in a lot more areas, um, the amount of zombies will be actually be pretty insane. And, and uh, basically what will happen is, the same amount of zombies, um, uh, still not gonna get much of a break, either way. And uh, by the way, you can also replay the song many times you want. But, um, it only start a new round once. Never mind, I actually forgot to show you guys the 7 time display. Um, here it is. It'll be 3 minutes, this thing. No, sorry, not three minutes. Um, every three minutes, forty seconds. This thing will change. Uh, wait, no, four minutes. Yeah, every four minutes, this thing will change. Uh, numbers go up by one. Uh, I doubt you're gonna be able to make it around round nine. Because it's so difficult trying to make it around round nine. Um, yeah, I mean, not much to say other than that. But I mean, other than that, about the round system. It really doesn't say anything about like you know difficulty of zombies or anything. The more, basically, the more areas you unlock, the more hard, the harder it actually, it actually is going to get. Um, my system really has nothing to do with that. Although eventually, I do plan to make a new zombie map with uh, around system around system that actually affects the amount of zombies that have to spawn. And uh, as to why you actually want the zombies inside, um, is because run flesh run flesh is actually currency in this place. Um, pay around flesh on new areas, buy items and stuff. And although I may have a diamond sword right now, and um, this thing unlocks, this thing gives you a stone sword, this diamond sword will break eventually. And that's when you need to rely on other items. Especially since, so, a billion zombies on your trail. Clean up, there's more areas you unlock, the more zombies that will spawn. Um, that's pretty much how this place goes. I tried to build this in Call of Duty fashion, but the two-story uh, look just kind of hindered me when I was making this. But um, at some point, like uh, I, will, I will build a new zombie map, and uh, I hope you guys will actually enjoy that one. That one actually be pretty hard to make, I think. Uh, but I'm just blabbering on here, guys. Uh, I came out for almost five minutes. I'm gonna look a new area actually. Just to show you guys this. Okay. And 
as you can see, this is completely automatic. You can unlock in your area just by putting the required amount of items in and pressing the button. Um, however, this does not work flawlessly. Well, why do I say this? Because it really does not work flawlessly. It has, it has a pretty darn good chance of uh, working, but sometimes it won't. <laughs> sometimes it won't. Uh, you gotta pay an extra zone so I flesh you at those times. Unfortunately, I can't make it 100% because. 100% be very difficult, but this one almost always works, so. Yep. The zombies are spawning this new area here. Oh boy, more zombies. But uh, let's get right to the mystery box right here. Uh, cost 8 items, you put 8 items, eight items in here. And uh, automatically, uh, automatically pay for you. Kind of like Call of Duty. And um, yeah, lunch is on a random item. The red line. Um, here is we can buy grenades. Um, two round flush with one grenade. I think it's actually three. Yeah, that was, that was a typo. But um, regardless, we just we saw here. What was that noise? Well, guys, no, it's actually round two. Um, that works that way. Um, yeah, rounds will peri periodically change, so. See if you guys can survive or not. But um, man, I'm just like blabbering on here, man. I <laughs> just keep on getting, you know, get more zombies, kill these zombies. What are those door noises? Those are the zombies upstairs. The zombies put here so you don't camp here. Um, yeah, camping sucks, guys. We don't want campers. We want actual players. So yeah. Whoa, whoa, okay, well. Nice job of assaulting these zombies. We'll get that lucky next time. Um, I believe like some other mobs actually are able to spawn in here. I'm not sure how, but they are. I really gotta recheck that system. Uh lots more zombies aren't spawned. Someone after my soul. Alright, which reminds me, probably check out the mystery box here. What does it give me with an iron axe? I mean, iron shovel, actually. How does that do an axe? Well, it's so cool if you actually throw items. I mean, this, I mean, like, you know, it's on a game so much more weird and fun. Yeah. Just throw items, uh, like, lower durability at opponents uh, and uh, kill them. You know, it's so awesome. But well, whatever. Pose, notch, or gem. Didn't put that in for a reason, and I'm probably sure I'll be arguing with that reason. Oh, over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Now would be a good time to showcase the TNT system here. So here. Um, yep. Kill zombies. Like a boss. Um, TNT and grenades are actually very useful during later rounds. You have billions of zombies on you. Believe me, guys, it's very useful. And, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I might want to really stock up grenades. My ten minutes are actually being pretty close to being up. Uh, that's not cool. Uh, so uh, nine minutes in, guys. I'm not, I'm not gonna cut this short. I'm actually gonna make this two-part video pretty much. So yeah, this is pretty insane. Whoa, darn zombies! Ugh. My eyes are like shifted to other places. And then, oh crud! Yeah, you know, like playing my zombie app for the first time was really fun. Not like that. Like I was not expecting this to be so much fun. Like even because I knew it was gonna happen and stuff. But it was, and I really enjoyed it. That was really cool. are almost up guys. Come on, don't let die. Cut this recording short. I'll see you in the next part guys. Peace out.